actually the first biggest, we are actually the largest party in, in as much as Sinn Féin won the, the biggest number of, of votes in the election. But you're right, um, had we fielded more candidates, we, we would, it seems, have won more seats. Do you regret not doing that? Well, I mean, with the, with the benefit of hindsight, yes, of course. I mean, nobody likes to leave uh, seats behind. But what happened with the Sinn Féin vote is that it transferred very, very substantially to other parties for change. So the Greens, the Social Democrats, people before profit and so on. And what I want to do now, as the seats are being filled, is I want to have a conversation with the leaders of the other parties for change to see do we have the numbers and is there the political will to form a government without Fianna Fáil or Fine Gael. Of which you would be the Taoiseach. Yes, well, we are, we are the largest party. I mean, Sinn Féin won the election. I think everybody accepts that. Um, but it, it's not for me an issue of who is in what post. This is about delivering different government, better government, a new government, a government of change for people. Uh, and we've set out what our strong preference is uh, to have government without the old two of Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael. But equally, uh, we don't want to see Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael couple up again because we don't want another five years of that. So I do accept that there are permutations and options in between that also so may have to have, be explored. Who have you spoken to so far? I have spoken with Eamon Ryan. I have spoken with Brendan Howland. We are in contact with the Social Democrats, people before profit. And we will, of course, speak to independents as and when those yeah. seats are filled. And your old party member, Padre Tobin of Aintu? Well, no, Padre wasn't on, on my list, but I, I've said that we were going to talk to everybody. And that means everybody. But I've started with those parties that I think most carry that mandate for change. And I think those are Sinn Féin, the Greens, the Social Democrats, all of that, that, that cluster of parties. And let's see what we can do. People told me very clearly that they were voting for Sinn Féin because they want us in government. So I want Sinn Féin to be at the core and preferably leading uh, the next government. And I'm very clear that we need to go and explore all options. But I want to start with what I regard as the best outcome, the best possible outcome. But you would ultimately have a conversation with Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael, even though they had said prior to the election that they wouldn't go into government with and you. Can I say, they were wrong to try and exclude us in the course of this election campaign. And they're wrong to believe that you can leave Sinn Féin, not, not for me or for, for the elected representatives, but because we, we represent a, a huge proportion of the electorate. So it's wrong to suggest that you can be left on the, on the margins or that the politics of exclusion is, is good or acceptable. It's not. Uh, I believe that conversations need to happen right across the political spectrum. I believe that that's the democratic thing to do. I think it's what grown-ups do. And we should all remember that at the very end of the day, it's solving the housing crisis. It's about resolving concerns around the pension age. It's about ensuring that people have a breathing room and, and after listening for years of a narrative of economic recovery, that they actually experience it in their pockets. Those are the big issues. And I think people expect now politicians and political leaders to lead and to get cracking, roll their sleeves up and, and start delivering. So they're on your list, but they're on the bottom of your list. If, if I can just ask you about something else, um, there is a video circulating online today of Sinn Féin TD David Cullinan that was filmed in the Mansion House pub in Waterford last night where he's singing Up the Ra. Okay. Now, he has confirmed that content to the Irish Times. What do you have to say about that? Well, I haven't seen the video. So to be honest, this is the first that I've heard of it. And if that's the case, I, I don't know what the context of the singing of that was. Um, I assume it must be Celtic Symphony or some such. So David, no doubt, will make an explanation of that. If he's, if he's a Sinn Féin TD, though, singing up the Ra on the night he's been elected in a public house. He has to explain that. I haven't seen the video. So I don't want to make a, con a comment on material that I haven't seen, in, in fairness, Katrina. All right. Thanks for joining us this evening, Mary Lee MacDonald. Oh, sorry. Actually, in the last few minutes, we have just got the result of the latest count, the last count in Kerry, and we can hear the results of that now. John Brassel, Fianna Fáil, received 973 votes, bringing his total 8,655. That's 8,655. Norma Foley, Fianna Fáil, received 1,861 votes, bringing her total to 11,000.